In this video, we are going to be seeing how to install PyCharm. So first, you have to open up your browser and in the search bar, you type PyCharm. PyCharm and hit enter. So here you are going to see the website www.jetbrains.com is going to be the first website to show. So in the you can either click this link to go directly to the website or you can just click on download here so in my case I'm going to click on download and once I click download the JetBrains website is going to open so you scroll down and here you will see PyCharm Professional but what we want is the community edition because the professional edition is going to give you 30 days free trial and you have to pay after that but the community edition is free and it has everything you need everything necessary which you need to code for now as a beginner so when you go down you're going to see PyCharm Community Edition here is it PyCharm Community Ed Edition so here you click on download download and it, this page shows thank you for downloading PyCharm so if you check up here you will see that the download has started the file is about 428 megabytes and it's downloading I'm going to come back after the download is completed okay now the download is complete and as you can see here it has been completed I can now click on this file here show in folder this is going to take me directly to the location where the download has been stored in my computer so if I click on this file here then then the downloads folder is going to open once the download folder opens you're going to see here I have the PyCharm Community Edition 2023 which I just downloaded so in order to install it I have to double click so once you select yes the setup menu is going to show so it says welcome to PyCharm Community Edition setup so you just need to click yes um, next to continue then here this is the path where it is going the destination folder where the setup is going to be stored so next to continue and then here it is asking create a desktop shortcut yes in my case i want a desktop shortcut so you have to mark this and then associations.py you can choose this if you want to write only python so the association.py you can click that and you click on it's your choice if you want but for me i'll just leave it out then you click next and you click install and then the installation is going to start it's going to take quite a while for you to install depending on the speed of your computer but i'll just come back after the installation has been complete the installation is complete it says PyCharm community edition has been installed on your computer now the installation is complete i can just click on finish and that's all for it you now have pycharm installed in your computer in order to run the program you can just go to your desktop and then you double click on this is it right here the icon you double click and it is going to open there is it opening you have to choose I confirm that I have read and accepted the terms of user agreement continue don't send and that is it guys you now have your PyCharm so you can now use your PyCharm to write your Python code so I have to click here to start a new project if I already have a project in my computer I can click open and from the directory I can select the project I want to open but in this case I don't have a project so I have to create a new project so click here and here you have to give the name of the project so this is name Python project I can just change the name and give it first Python project and here is the location the directory where the project will be saved so in my case it's going to be stored in users user slash pycharm project in, you can select here 
and choose the directory where you want your project to be saved but in my case I'm okay with the directory but you can change it here you can choose anywhere if you want it to be stored on your desktop or in the D drive you can choose it from here by yourself but in my case I'm okay with the default part also you can choose to create a github repo if you're working with a large project or maybe just a little project which you want to keep tabs on but in this case I'm fine with the settings like this so I'm going to click on create so the editor is going to take a while to set up the environment when the setup is done to the left side you're going to see these folders you're going to see NV, lib, script, git, ignore and so many other folders by the side here to the left so in order to create your python file you have to right click on the project right click on the project then you select new then new you come down to python file you hit enter then it is going to ask for the name of the file in this case i want the name of the file to be main.py main.py that's the name so your file has to end with the py extension to show that it's a python file but in this case since you're using pycharm and pycharm already knows since you selected that you are creating a python file it is going to put the extension for you so i can just say okay um, my the name of my file is main and also you can just put main.py if you wish or you can just put main and you hit when you put main and you you choose python file and you hit enter then you will see that dot pi will be added for you dot pi will be added for you so this is your file main dot pi so now you cannot write your python code for example i'm just going to print hello world so this is the code to print hello world in order to run this code there is a play button here you can also use shift f10 which is a shortcut shift f10 to run the code or you use this play button here click and that is it down let me make this large okay this is it here hello world so that is the program you can also choose to to print out any other thing you see i can like i wrote print subscribe to my channel and if i click the play button you see hello world subscribe to my channel all right so that's it with this you can write any other thing you want you can write different lines of code and create new file if you want to create another file you just need to right click on the name of the project you choose a new python file and you give the name let's say the second file i just want to give it the name person dot dot pi let's say you have a python file where you want to create um things about a person ob an object or a class about a person or something like that so that's the name and it's a python file hit enter and that is it person dot pi is open so you can also write anything you want to write in the person dot file person dot pi file so that is it so that's how to write python code using PyCharm